All right, so we've loaded in. Um, we've gotten our car game all loaded up so far. We <laughs> Okay, so um, before we make anything else, I kind of want to talk about how to navigate around this. So if you come over here and you grab the little hand, with the hand you can move side to side. Okay, With the scroll wheel you can zoom out and you can zoom in. If you hold down the right mouse button, you can kind of look around. Okay, So we look around. So sometimes you get like there, there are these two modes right there, right there. Perspective mode and ISO mode. You notice it's an ISO mode. ISO mode is great if you want to move around very far and then you can click again on this to move into perspective mode and it's much better for the detail work. Okay. Um, if you ever get into a mode and you're not quite sure, like sometimes you can zoom right here, you zoom through the track. Um, so if you see something that looks like this, you're through the track. You got to zoom out, zoom out through it. Um, if you click right here, you kind of get the Y perspective, like we're looking top down. If you just right click right here, we probably want to be on free. And then you can drag up right here. Okay. Um, you can again use the eye to kind of look around. Again, I, uh, right click, use the eye, and then there we go. So you can kind of zoom in like that. All right, so that's how to kind of navigate around in Unity. Now let's talk about, um, now we're going to build a tunnel. So I'm going to go into 3ds Max. Let's go ahead and maximize this viewport. And the tunnel that I'm going to build is going to be a long, um, not a cylinder, I'm sorry. I need this to be a, I guess I could make it a tube here, okay, whoops, let me go ahead and make this another tube, let me zoom out a little bit here, I'm going to make this look pretty big actually, kind of like that, that looks pretty good, let me rotate this, alright, now, I'm going to right click on this, convert it to an editable poly. On this editable poly, you'll see I have some polygons right here. I can kind of move these so they're kind of up. So this will be kind of fun to drive through. It kind of goes up and then down. All right, now that I've done that, I'm going to, on this, I'm going to come down here and select Unwrap UVW. Hit Control A to select everything. Come in here to my Open My UVW Editor, Mapping Flatten Map, click OK. Um, now, I know that this looks a little complicated. I'm just going to add, like, maybe a... Um, like almost a gravel or cement type texture to this. So this, uh, this is not going to be too difficult to work with. I'll show you how easy it is. Um, now that I have this on here, I need to go to Tools, Render the UVW Template, and then I need to go to Modes, Normal, or Solid. I wanted to go to Solid, actually, or Shaded. Solid, there we go. Render. Okay, now that we have this, let's go ahead and save it. I'm going to save this to my U drive. I'll call this tunnel, save the format as a JPEG image, save, click OK. Let's close out of these things. Now hit M in here, come down to diffuse, none, wait for this to load, just give it a second here, double click on bitmap find that map that I just saved. So I saved it on my U drive and I called it tunnel.jpg. Then I drag this onto there and then I just want to make sure that I show the shaded material. Okay. Now I'm going to open up Photoshop and I'm going to go file open and then I'm going to find that tunnel.jpg click open and then I'm going to go onto the internet 
and I'm going to find like a um, cement. Whoops, I spelled cement wrong. So I'll just find a cement texture. All right, I kind of like this one right there. That looks pretty good. Right click on this image, go to copy image, come in here to Photoshop, paste, make sure that this is covering everything that I want it to. File, save, save this thing again as a JPEG image. Okay, so I've saved that. Click the tunnel.jpg. I need to make sure that I'm saving this as a JPEG image. Hit save. Click yes. Click OK. Come back into 3ds Max. Let's take a look at this. I kind of like the way that looks. That looks pretty cool to me. All right. So now I need to, in here, I go to the 3ds Max. I want to export this. We're going to click on export. It needs to be an FBX file. We need to know where we're saving it. So I'm going to make sure that I save it to my U drive. Let's call this tunnel.fbx and hit save. Make sure under embed media that media is embedded. And I click OK. All right. Now I'm going to come back into Unity. Sure thing. I come back into Unity and I need to go to um, assets import new asset let's go to my U drive find the tunnel hit import okay now that I have my tunnel in here I'll just go ahead and drag that in now obviously that's too small so I'm gonna click right here to resize this, make this pretty big. Let me zoom out here. And then I need to click on this. I can kind of move this around if I want. Something like that. Maybe I want to rotate this thing. All right. I can also kind of rotate it. I think maybe I want to rotate it like that. There we go. Maybe I'll make this a tunnel that's kind of just midway in the air that I have to jump into. Maybe that would be fun. So I'll kind of move that down and I'll move my ramp down. Let's see if I can jump into this tunnel. Um, now if I play the game right now... I don't have the um, mesh collider on. Let's kind of see. I think that that actually looks better. Um, so I need to, on here, I need to add the component. Go to physics and make sure I turn a mesh collider on. This will make sure that my car grips it. Alright, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Hopefully you've enjoyed.